What up, it's Tim Rees here. Now, it looks like a biopic series about um, 20th century Grammy-winning singer and Oscar-winning actor Frank Sinatra is in the works. The, seri the drama series will be written, directed, and executive produced by Dreamgirls director Bill Condon. The series will have, uh, will have access to Sinatra's music catalog and is it, um, and is and will be executive produced by Sinatra's daughter Tina Sinatra and comes from Lionsgate Television and Universal Music Group. It has been uh, taken to the uh, um, premium marketplace, uh, game um, garnering strong interest and in multiple bids. So know where I went this is gonna premiere on. Uh, Conan is a writer and director pilot and serve as showrunner on the series. Uh, which will be exec produced alongside his uh, producing um, partner Greg uh, Greg um, uh, Volan. The project is described as a definite uh, by series on the iconic singer, actor, producer, and uh, celebrate celebrity of the 20th century America. Will feature Sinatra's music and performances. Uh, Sinatra's life um, has been a humble um, beginning as the uh, child of, em of, of Italian immigrants in New Jersey, a remarkable uh, music and acting career that has its uh, ups and um, down. A famous uh, group of friends, including the Rat Pack, uh, which was um, the leader of a uh, vengeful and uh, sometimes turbulent li uh, love life uh, marked by a string of relationships, with Hollywood stars like Ava Garner, Mia Farrow, Judy Garland, Lauren Bacall, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Angie Dixon. Of course, uh, the uh, Rat Pack, you know, includes the likes of, uh, you know, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, of course, um, Dean Martin. Uh, uh, anyway, now, believe it or not, for years, and I mean years, there has always been an act, like, talks about an actual Frank Sinatra biopic feature. Okay? Now, I can't remember when um, it first um, came to fortune, but I remember Martin Scorsese was originally set to direct um, Frank Sinatra biopic film. Uh, I can't remember what, like, really what happened. I think um, what really what happened is, like, uh, probably he didn't have, like, any rights to a story or something like that, and so that just fell apart. I, I literally, I kid you not, I literally remember uh, Martin Scorsese was originally supposed to direct this Sinatra, bi uh, Sinatra biopic. And I believe Leo DiCaprio was originally supposed to play Frank Sinatra. That would have been a cool team up. And I remember, like, even hearing stuff about Scott Johansson possibly starring in that one. Even Adam Sandler. That would have been an intriguing cast right there. But, uh, hey, if we can't get a biopic feature, maybe a biopic series could be a train. I mean, we are already getting biopics about some of the frat, um, uh, Brad Pack. Like, we are getting a biopic about Sammy Davis Jr., um, I wonder if we're going to get one about Dean Martin in the future. But, uh, uh, now my question is, who are they going to get to play the role of Frank Sinatra? That, the casting of that is going to be an interesting one. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a shame that Martin Scorsese is not attached to this, because, man, I would have loved to have seen um, Scorsese take on a Sinatra biopic. But, hey, Bill Connor is a good director in his own part. I mean, he is the guy who gave us, uh, I mean, he has, um, you know, read three musical uh, features such as Chicago. Uh, he even um, directed Dreamgirls. He even, I think I even realized he actually uh, was a screenwriter on uh, The Great Showman, which was good too. So, and I think um, Bill Cotton could do a good job with this. So, um, if I have to guess who will be a good choice to play Frank Sinatra, all right, this may sound like an odd one, but because how great he sings like Sinatra, I think this would be perfect. I say right now, Seth MacFarlane. I know people are being like, whoa, wait, wait, uh, the Family Guy career is Seth MacFarlane? Seriously? Yes, seriously. I mean, if you take some time and actually hear Seth MacFarlane sing, like, he literally sings a lot like Frank Sinatra. And, of course, uh, he was actually good friends with Frank Sinatra, um, you know, with Frank's, uh, son, Frank Sinatra Jr., who you might remember, um, appeared on, uh, Family Guy a couple times. Uh, I mean... And if you remember um, him, like, uh, as the uh, mouse from Sing, totally uh, was, reminis was reminiscent of Sinatra. So, I say this right now, I think they need, need to get uh, Sam McFarlane as Frank. I mean, I know sometimes his acting could be a little stiff once in a while, um, but he's actually pretty good on the Orville. So, I don't know, if they get him, perfect. If uh, not, some other um, per uh, acting could be, could be um, good, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, uh... 
and I'm also glad they're actually able to use synopsis music because movies like five picks sometimes my five picks don't like have the right to all you know to the artist's music and uh, sometimes the film falls flat you know uh, big. Um, reason of this is probably that uh, Jimmy Hendrix movie that premiered like uh, years ago with Andre 3000. They were not able to secure any rights to um, you know, to Jimmy's music, and that movie fell apart because of that. And another one I can really also think of is that recent David Bowie biopic that got um, that premiered. They did not have the rights to his music, and so that movie saw fell apart. So. Yeah, it's always great when they do a music biopic about an artist and they're able to secure the rights to their music, you know? Because you imagine, like, a Michael Jackson biopic without any of his music involved, that would be weird. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on a Frank Sinatra biopic series officially in the works? Who would you like to see play on Frank Sinatra on screen? Uh, are you even interested in checking out a Frank Sinatra biopic? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sire.